Hello guys, this is Mihai from DNN Sharp. Today I will show you a new feature we've added to Action Grid. It's called Sync with URL. It's actually the feature that is adding some query strings in the URL of the page. And with the help of the query strings, you will be able to filter and sort your grid. Actually, the query strings you're seeing right now are telling me that I'm on page 1 on my Action Grid and the action grid size is 4. As you can see, 4 elements on the page and I'm on page 1. Let me show you how it works. If uh, I want to change to page 6, I just click on this button and it takes me to page 6 of my grid. As you can see in the query string, page 415 changes to 6. 415 here is actually the module ID. Now, uh, about the filtering feature. Uh, if you want to filter this grid, you have to click on the filter button, then select the column you want to filter by, in this case value, for example, wait for it to load, and then select the value for which you want to filter, let's say 0 0.26, and then the grid refreshes with the settings I've chosen. You can do that with just the click of a button. For example, this button will filter my grid for the, by the value column for value 004 instantly. It's that easy. You can sort the grid by the text column descending, for example. You can even sort it by the text column ascending. It's really that fast. You can even search with buttons search by countries with ZIM in their names. As you can see, all these countries have ZIM in their names and if you look in the query string, you will see search for 15 equal ZIM. Uh, you can even search for countries and go to a different page. You don't have to stay on page 1. Now I'm on page 2 and I see only countries that have RON in their name. As you see in the query string, search, run, and page is 2. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, to be able to do this, you need to enable the sync with URL feature in Action Grid. It's the feature that adds those query strings in uh, the URL. And you can find it in the Manage Grid menu. This is it. If you disable it, all those query strings will disappear. Of course, you don't have to use buttons like I did, because if you have a lot of queries that you will need to run, you will need to be adding a lot of buttons. You can do this even with action form and a couple of drop-downs. I've also done this. I must confess, I took a little step in advance and already created the form, but I will show you how I did it. Let me add it to this page. The interesting thing that both Action Form and these buttons do is that actually they send the query strings to the URL. Let me show you the button setup. As you can see, are, they are simple links in my case, and they look like this. It's on click, window history, push state, and this one sends page 415 equals 7. That means I will go to page 7 on module 415. If I want to search for something, I just have to change here, search for uh, test, and if I also like to go to a different page, I, uh, I will have to add another parameter, and page 415 equal 6 if I want to go to page 6. This 415 is the module ID. I will leave this link in the comment on the video so you can use it yourself. But now I will show you how to do this with Action Form. Let's close this one. This is my form. I created uh, 
search text it's actually a text box here and some multiple choice drop downs i've only added two options for each of them it was easier for me let's say i want to filter my grid by the text column and i want to see only the countries that have laos in their name i click submit the info is sent to the url and my grid is refreshed Keep in mind that the web page does not refresh, only the grid. Also, if I want to search for countries that have Chad in their name, add that instantly. If I want to filter by value, and the value is 141, one, I select from the drop downs, I click submit, send them to the URL, and the grid is refreshed. I need time now. Yeah, there it is. Let me show you how the, grid, how the form looks. It's actually my search uh, text box, multiple choice with drop down, filter by, where I select the column heads, in my case text and value are the only one that I used, and then the options for each column. For value, I selected one for one, one for two, one for three, and for text, as you can remember, I only had Laos and Chad. Now, all these tokens have values, and I've created a hidden field here to build that query string that needs to be sent to the top. Search for one five plus the value of the search text box, and filter for one five dash filter by plus equal and the value of the filter by box. Then on the submit button, I only have to use the same window history push state to send the hidden field value to the URL. And don't forget about the return false because you don't want your page to be refreshed. That's all. Let me know if you like this new feature and I wish you could share with us some implementations. I bet you can find a better use for this than I did. See you soon. Bye.